Hey guys, so I'm back with an update video and this is going to be an update on my hair because I have been getting a lot of questions about this hair color since I posted it on Instagram a couple weeks ago and I did a video wearing this wig a couple weeks ago as well. So this hair is the Miss Lula hair that I showed you guys back in December. I did color it so I just wanted to come back and tell you guys all about the color and tell you how it's holding up for it being a less expensive hair. Well, for this hair being a more affordable hair company, everyone assumes lower price equals lower quality and in most cases that is true. But sometimes there's a little gem in the bottom of a pot. Um, so yeah, first I want to tell you guys how I achieved this color because I did get a lot of questions about the color and I did bleach this hair. I haven't bleached hair in a really, really long time so I was like not really excited about it but it turned out really good. I didn't bleach this hair like in one day. I, I took like steps in bleaching it so I did bleach the hair two times. I am going to show you guys what I used to achieve the color that it's at now. I like the color that it's at now, but I want to take it a little lighter. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because I don't really want to over process the hair. So to bleach the hair, I used the Claudia Colors Bleach and I used 40 Volume Developer. I used the blue one and I also used the purple one, but I don't have the purple one anymore because it's all gone. But it's the same brand it's just purple instead of being blue it's purple so I use this and I also use a purple one I bleached the hair twice I think I bleached the hair like one time and I think I bleached it again probably like two weeks later and then I toned it and everything like that so I used this and I just followed the instructions I think I left the bleach on the hair for probably like 45 30 or 45 minutes because it started turning fast and I had to work fast because you know once you do one side it's processing so I had to like hurry up because I did use 40 volume developer and it processes a lot faster with 40 so if you're like new to like bleaching hair and you don't really want to ruin it or don't want to take the chance I would definitely start with like 20 or 30 just so you don't like over process the hair because the hair was lightening really fast when I used 40 volume developer so this is what I used to bleach the hair and after I bleached the hair the two times I toned the hair and I used the Wella Permanent Liquid Hair Toner and I used the shade T14 which is pale ash blonde because I really wanted like an ash blonde color and it's really hard to tell the color that your hair is turning because it looks way lighter than it actually is when like it's processing so yeah, but I used this and I used it with the 40 volume developer. Um, most people use toners with like 20 volume developer and I would totally go with that. Um, but I did use 40 volume developer. So this is what I used to tone the hair to get it to the shade that it is now. And it has like different colors in it. Like it's not all one color because the bleach that I use is like a toning bleach and it has like different hues in it. So... I'm really happy with the color that it came out with. I think it's, you know, not too bright, but I still feel like it has like a little orange in it and I want to take all the orange out. So after I did the bleaching and the toning and all that, I did wash the hair with the purple shampoo. And this is the generic version. This is the Sally's version of the Shimmer Lights um, shampoo. So this basically just takes out the yellow and it leaves your hair I guess like less brassy but I honestly feel like it doesn't really work I mean I think it works if your hair is like yellow blonde like if your hair is yellow blonde it definitely takes the yellow out but like for like orangey-ish hair like this really doesn't work after all of that I washed it and conditioned it I'm still using the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Restoring Conditioner I absolutely love this conditioner like I just love it it works really really good with this hair so this is what I use to kind of restore the hair and bring back the moisture into it because I didn't want it to be like kind of dried out so and that is it that's how I achieved the color I will show what the hair looked like the first time I bleached it it was kind of like a brown shade um so I'll show you what it looked like then and then this is what it looks like now obviously so 
yeah as far as the hair and how it's held up since me coloring it I mean I guess you guys can really see that the hair still has a bunch of body um it's not fried it's not over processed it really took the color really well and I was really surprised it's because I had some expensive hair that didn't take color well and this hair took the color really well so yeah it took the color well I still don't have like tangling with the hair it's like very minimal tangling shedding is a little bit more than what it was before I dyed the hair and I guess that's just from me dyeing it but it's not excessive it's like still pretty normal so shedding isn't like really bad other than that I'm really still liking the hair I did curl the hair the same like how I had it in my initial video for the hair just because I was being corny but I like it the curls fell so they're not as tight as what they started out as um I think the hair held a tighter curl better when it was darker it seems like now that it's lighter it doesn't hold as tight of a curl as far as the texture because this was the Brazilian body wave it still has like a slight probably like the slightest wave like not anything spectacular the bleach totally knocked out whatever little curl wave it has so it's like so slight like nothing at all i will leave the original video that i did on miss lou's hair in the info section so you guys can see what it looked like before if you have any questions or anything like that so yeah i think that's all that i wanted to tell you guys about the hair um if you have any questions just let me know i will try to leave as much information as i can about the process i took and lightening the hair I will leave all of that down below and all of the products as well everything that I mentioned product wise you can get it from Sally's except for this conditioner I got this from Target but yeah that is it I will see you guys in my next video bye